Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. I came home from work today and this guy was sitting on my porch and I am so excited. The guys over at Argo Biomedical, I'll leave their link in the description below. They contacted me when I was in the South Carolinas at the uh, at the Biomed event and they told me that they, they want to send me a mystery box and to check it out and see what I think. I was so excited. Here it is from Argo Biomedical. Let's open it up and let's see what's inside. Oh my gosh. The fun that I shall have. It's a very heavy box, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay. It says Regal Medical. Oh my goodness. All right, let's put this guy over here. I've got a nice, very heavy duty 20 amp power cord. I have a test clamp and an adapter. It says current tap. I'll have to read the instruction manual and see uh, what the current tap is. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So I've got my certification documents. Welcome book. This says welcome to Regal Care and Support. And it says it's a Regal Safe Test 50 electrical safety analyzer. This, guys, this would be the electrical safety analyzer that I had from the MD Expo in Dallas. This would be the unit that I showed in the video that I said I was extremely excited about because it's portable, it's got nice giant buttons, it's got the recess screen. Oh my gosh. Let's check it out. This is a beautiful case, by the way. Nice case. It's got an internal pouch. Oh my gosh. You guys, look at this beauty. Oh my gosh, Regal. Safe test 50. Oh my gosh. So this is a fantastic little device. It's the one that had all the colored buttons. Guys, I love buttons. I love buttons. It's a beautiful case. Got a nice carry strap with it. Everything's gonna fit in the little case. Oh my gosh, I gotta take a moment. <laughs> I am so excited about this guy. Oh, this is gonna be perfect timing, guys, because the NFPA 99 2021 edition is out and I was going to do an electrical safety update video for you guys. And this is the perfect time because I'm going to do the latest electrical safety with the latest electrical safety device, the Safe Test 50. Oh my gosh. i tell you what, let's, let's do this. We're going to, we're going to plug it in right now. Not too good. Just looking at it. Let's power it up and let's see what it can do. So the first thing I'm going to do, take my 20 amp IEC, plug it in, and hmm, I don't have 20 amp plugs here in my garage, but I got this little adapter, this little adapter. I'm going to plug it in. Wow, guys, that was almost an instantaneous boot up. Uh, which means you could plug and unplug this thing all day long and it would just be ready to rock and roll. Okay, so first thing, it's plugged in, it's booted up. Uh, now we've got our little test cable and pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the black cable goes in the black port in the back. And this end here is actually very neat. So the probe, which is normally used for a point-to-point -point it's got a banana plug embedded right in the tip, which allows it to interface very neatly with a gator clip. And this is one of those multifunctional gator clips. It's got some really rough points, it's got some fine points, and it's got like a cable hold uh, lip so that if you need to clip it on something, it'll really hold on there pretty good. So let's separate this guy first because the first thing that you always have to do with your electrical safety analyzer is the ground test and to check the integrity of your cable. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press ground 
and I'm going to zero the probe. So I put it in the ground. I assume that that's what you're going to do. I briefly looked over this uh, quick start guide. Very interesting. Very, very thorough for a quick start guide. But you can also download the, the real user manual to your phone or to your tablet or whatever. But I'm going to see how intuitive this is without doing that. So if I'm going to zero out between this point and this point, I would assume you stick it straight in the ground outlet. And here's the rest of my cable. And it says press the ground key here. So these are your single fault keys. And these ones here are probably to activate your tests, like normal polarity, reverse polarity. So I've got ground and neutral. This is probably for open ground, open neutral. Pretty cool. They're right out in the open like that. But anyway, it says to press the ground button to zero it out. You can see it's kind of doing its thing. It was already pretty close to zero, but this is just to basically test it. All right, so here it is. That one's good. I'm going to go ahead and plug the gator clip on. I'm going to connect it to my medical device. I have a brand new uh, medical grade power cord here. I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy in. Plug it into the device itself. And you have to really love how big the, the numerics are on this guy. I've got 0.035 ohms. That's really good. Mind you guys that uh, your ohms should be at 0.5. So that tells you that this is definitely a solid connection. I'm connected to a gas port right here. You know, this isn't a, normally a type of device that would need electrical safety anyway. But uh, let's see how it goes. So let's see, I'm gonna press the ohms and we're at 0.35, so let's press UA. Very cool. Okay, so there's a description up here at the top. It says ground leakage and chassis leakage. Very neat. And over here on the left, you can see a visual indicator of whether or not your ground or your neutral single fault conditions are closed or open. Very neat. So I can press the button, you can see it open, closed, open neutral, closed. That's very cool. And let's see, I'm on chassis leakage, so I'm going to press this one here to start the test. Okay, so it says that my device is powered off for my NFPA 99. Uh, it shows I've got nothing there. I'm going to open the ground. 5.5 microamps, very good. And I'm gonna close the ground again because the second part of the test, we have to go ahead and turn it on and then we have to open the ground while it's on. Wow, that's very intuitive. So that's probably to stop the test, that's green for start the test. Um, wow, that is very, very cool. So I'm pulling 88 microamps, 88.2, 88.3, 87, yeah. So this one here would probably get 88.8 .8 written on the work order. No problem there. All right, so I test that. Now here in the United States, we don't have to do the open neutral and we don't have to do the uh, Reverse polarity, we can do it if we want. I hit reverse polarity. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna open the ground. Actually close the ground, it, that was opened, jeez. And stop. And what do we have here, okay. So I can see uh, this is obviously my equipment current, my frequency. I can see um, my load to neutral and my load to ground. So this here will change if you're on an isolated power system. Let's go here. Let's close the ground to be safe. I'm going to activate it. 
Okay, and now while it's activated, now I can pop in here and I can watch the equipment current, which is an excellent troubleshooting aid. I like that it's in a different color. It kind of really pops and sticks out there. And this is probably a very good thing. My neutral to ground is showing 0.1 of a volt, which is basically nothing because your neutral and your ground should both be at the same potential. The only time I would ever see this maybe be different is if there is a fault condition someplace. Kind of a cool little menu. Not necessary for an electrical safety, but it's very cool that it's all laid out right there on one page. So I can go back to that menu, and that's for chassis leakage. So now we can go to ground leakage. I just opened the neutral just because. Anyway, the only one in the United States for NFPA that's necessary is to first do your ground and then to do your uh, chassis leakage. And for that, you just look up here. Let's close the neutral. Very cool, guys. So that's the Safe Test 50. And let's see how fast I can go through an electrical safety. Because this is a, an all manual test. So, you know, unlike some of them where they do an automated test, this one here, I have a lot more functionality and a lot more um, menu options here because I personally use my electrical safety analyzer to do a lot of things like to test a equipment draw current if it's popping uh, fuses, if there's excessive leakage to say the limb panel, this guy here is gonna be a much better tool than some of those automated uh, electrical safety analyzers, which they have some manual tests that you can do too. But this guy here, I like having the menu options. I like having the buttons so I can select different tests, especially if my device is being a little finicky. So let's go ahead and let's run through it. Let's see how fast I can do electrical safety. So uh, there we are, 0.34 of an ohm, 0.034. So as soon as I verify the integrity of my cable, I'm going to pop over here to microamps. And let's see, my equipment is off. I'm going to go ahead and hit start test. It's going to throw voltage to the chassis here on the mains. I've got 5.6 UA. Oh, I'm on ground leakage. My bad, guys. Chassis leakage. Okay. I'm gonna open the ground, 5.6 UA. That's exactly where I need to be. All right, and now I'm going to turn the device on. And then from here, I'm gonna give it a moment so that it can maybe come uh, and start the compressor. I'm gonna open ground, 11 UA, not so bad. Uh, let's see, what can I do here? Let's drain some air out so the compressor will come on. Watch your ears. Okay, here we go. That's more like it. I had 91 microamps with a, with a lifted ground. Let's close that ground. Zero UA. Guys, that's, that's actually very, very nice. I pop over here, take a look, make sure that my equipment draw is nice and low, 4.7 amps. Cherry. Home, there I go. Shut my device off, unplug it, safety clamp off to the side, unplug this guy, press on to the next device. Oh my gosh, guys. I am going to instruct a Biomed 1 on how to use this, and I'm going to do it in about 30 seconds. She's never seen this device before. I'm going to show her how to do it real quick and easy, and I'm going to see if she can do it. It's the Regal Safe Test 50. Guys, I absolutely love this. Thank you guys for sending this to me. Uh, the guys out there, Argo Biomedical. Again, the link's going to be in the description below, and I'm going to be doing... Lots of videos with this guy here at my side because not only can we use it for electrical safety, but like I said, we can use it to test the equipment draw current. So if I've got a motor that's going bad, 
let's say that I've got a heating element that's not quite working well. There's a lot of things that we can do to figure out what's going on with the device using this one here because it's got manual menus. I really dig that. Anyway, thanks Regal, thanks Argo Biomedical, and thank you guys for watching.